uh, looking at uh, you know the way healthcare is going, we thought that the redu this reductionistic approach of doing uh, you know treating human body or uh, or other animals is really not going to take us very far. You know? uh, we know that uh, uh, most of the diseases are chronic diseases. You know, Seventy percent mortality, morbidity is because of chronic conditions, and they are chronic because there is no effective treatment available for that. So, you know, some time back we decided that, you know, we should again uh, go back to nature and uh, start trying to develop uh, therapeutics for uh, curative treatment of uh, various human conditions and uh, other, other animals also. So, we went back to India and uh, did start a research uh, center there. And for uh, more than two decades now, we have been uh, actively engaged in uh, developing um, plant-based medicines and medicines out of cow milk, you know, cow, cow products basically. So, but see, what is lacking in our country or in the world, all over the world regarding these traditional therapies is we have not been able to put them on scientific pedestal, you know, until unless you really validate them, develop them scientifically like how the chemical pharmaceuticals are developed, things can't get a global acceptance, you know, they, we can't go very far. So that is what we have dedicated ourselves for doing. So we, you know, like, we, we just, I, I'll just focus on cow, you know, what we have been doing for cow. You know, as I say, I, I stay at Vrindavan, uh, most of you must have heard it, and Barsana is another uh, neighboring town over there. So we have big gaushalas there, you know, we have around, there is a gaushala at Barsana where we have 60,000 abundant cows, you know. So, you know, this is uh, kept beautifully over there. So we, big hospital for them, you know, and then so uh, also at Vrindavan, you know, um, uh, at Vrindavan, you know, we have a new campus coming up. I don't know how many of you have visited Vrindavan or Vrindavan temple. Oh, okay, some of you. So, you know, there is a, there is an original temple, Krishna Maharam Mandir. So from around 12 kilometers away from there, you know, a new 100 acre site. Is now there uh, we have a Gaushala, we have a temple which was recently inaugurated on November 9th only. Uh, we have a school there, 10 plus 2 ICSC board school, we have a dairy farm. Now we are building up a university there. That is the first university of its farm um, by name of Bhakti Vedanta University. Oh, wow. so that's what we are creating there. And our focus will be on holistic health care. You know, cognitive sciences, consciousness studies, uh, sustainable agriculture, that kind of university. You know, not the kind of one, you know, you know that. Uh, we have more than 1,000 universities in India, you know, and the kind of things are going on there. So, you know, our focus is on healthcare. If we really want to do healthcare, we have to go to the traditional sciences. So, put Ayurveda on scientific medicine. And when we talk about Ayurveda, cow and cow products have a very special role. You know, like Panchakampya, all you know that. Uh, urine, uh, uh, milk, etc. Et so as I said earlier, what is really missing is uh, the scientific part of it. You know, so that's what we are trying to achieve. We have developed. You were interested to know that we have developed antibiotics out of milk, cow milk, which really fight multi drug resistant infections. You know, so what can be a better drug? So a drug which is coming from. Uh, it's not in the market yet. We are working towards that. You know, but uh, you know. We are, uh, are ready and everything there. And then, you know, we work on cow urine also. Urine is said to be a great uh, medicine, you know, like we all know that. But there are certain problems associated where you will find a cow, how you will collect the urine, and, and then the question of zoonotic infections comes up, you know, like the transfer of infections from a cow to human beings, and there are certain things happen. So, you know, we, what we are doing is, you know, we are developing cow urine capsules, you know, so that they are using special biotechnological processes to convert cow urine to powder under minus 40, minus 40 and then dry it up. You know? And so it's make it sterile first and so that you know it becomes very safe. Now cow dung is, we all know that, you know, fertilizers and biogas, that everyone knows. What we are trying to do is, you know, we are trying to take cow products made out of cow dung to healthcare, therapeutic products for uh, animal care and for human care. What we are trying to do is, you know, we are developing shilajit out of cow dung. You know, shilajit, um, some of you might have heard about it. It's a great immunomodulator, you know, like, and, and this is very expensive product. It sells around 4 lakh rupees a kilo, you know, like, and so So we are converting cow dung to a product, that value-added product. Why we are doing all this? You know, so that we can bring sustainability, you know, and, and for management of our cows, you know. In India, you know, there are more than 9 crore cows in the streets of 
even in Uttar Pradesh, you know, like in so they are very badly treated, you know, all eating garbage and all that. So until unless we really add a high value to cow, okay, if it is not giving you milk, then at least urine and dung is always there. Even, even with the you know uh, the bulls, you know, they are giving you uh, cow dung and uh, uh, urine. So the, those if they can be converted, you know, to high value products, then nobody will throw away cow. You know, everybody would like to keep cow at the bulls. And that's the only way for bringing sustainability in this area because on donations and etc. we can't run Gaushala. You know, you all must be hearing government has created a lot of Gaushalas and everything, but you know, they are starving, they are dying like anything, you know. So that is one thing we are trying to do and we are trying to promote that that, that should happen all over the world, you know. Like even in and Houston we have a Gaushala, we have built up a Gaushala. And our focus is no turning towards an Indian breed of cows, you know, like, because that is what when Ayurveda talks about, Indian cows have got certain very special characters. Like, you know, the modern medicine people will tell you that, you know, you should give up dairy, you should give up dairy. You know, because that's mm. the uh, you know, hybrid uh, breeds of cows. But if we go back to uh, the Indian breeds of cows, there, are, you know, there used to be around 100 breeds of Indian cows, but now only still 20, 30 breeds are available in India. So we are trying to preserve them, promote them, you know. So that is our, our major focus is on... Uh, uh, cow and uh, really develop, uh, make cow so very valuable that you know every cow can give you maybe 20, 30, 40,000 rupees a month, you know, like and then nobody would like to really uh, make a cow walk away uh, from their home. So we have to bring the cows back to home, you know, now. And so that is what, so I'm trying to utilize some of our uh, scientific tools and technologies, you know, to make this uh, very high value. Um, produce out of it and then there are there will be tremendous health benefits and the second thing you know we try to go back to nature develop medicines out of different plants and we have we have developed several such formulations there is no disease which cannot be cured now you know because based on so ultimately we have to go back to our traditional knowledge and really bring it on a scientific platform so that's the mission uh, i mean we me and my wife uh, both of us are engaged in you know we, we spend a lot of time here in the us you know we used to work at harvard and you know mayo clinic etc now why i'm here at scott here here at scottsdale my daughter is a uh, is an endocrinologist here at uh, uh, scottsdale mayo clinic my other daughter is at uh, uh, el paso she's an nephrologist you know so that compels us to keep coming to us also and I think that connection only, uh, you know, like I got introduced to Dr. Um, uh, Mishraji uh, yesterday and I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful to him that he asked me to come over here, you know, and to meet all of you. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, very much. Thank you. Hopefully I'll get more chance to meet you. Well, you know, like I'm... I'm, I'm a Brajbasi, you know, I was born in the Braj area, so, you know, I, so I've been roaming around all over the world, you know, but ultimately, you know, like, you know, like, I keep roaming here and there, but I, we end up going to Braj area, you know, like, so, so we are stationed at Aligarh and uh, Brindavan, and uh, we are in Braj area, so we are stationed at Aligarh and Brindavan and Barsana, you know, so I think it has been a long time, I think, maybe, I mean, I can remember Barsana maybe since last 50 years, you know. I've been going there, but like last uh, last five ten years, we are actively involved in uh, uh, in these areas. You know, like because ultimately, so many abandoned cows on the streets is very painful. So you know, we are trying to create bigger, big gaushalas there. And but then, how do you run them? You know, they have to be made sustainable. So the cow, the cow uh, herself is going to give you so much that you know we don't have to really be worrying about you know how we will feed the cow. How we will the cow will take care of herself and that will take care of the remaining So we thank you for bringing no. Thank you so much. I'm with Scon for last 40 years, you know, like I started uh, my position with Scon from Boston, you know, like, and so it's going strong, you know, like it's, uh, my whole family, you know, we have Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'll request uh, Sri Prasad Paranad to say a few words why cow is important in the system.
No, I am not a scholar. Already, uh, yeah, you already explained everything about you know cow. But as, a, as we know that cow is a very auspicious animal and very loving and tender. So we want to change that perspective as uh, you already mentioned. That cow was you know uh, uh, was important factor in Indian life, right? So ancient time we used to call Sone ke chiriya. So whole economy was based upon agriculture and basically cow. So cow was so useful in each and every matter. You know, take each and every part of cow. Even you know, uh, cow dung, urine, everything is so useful. Milk. And uh, you rightly said, you know, that Indian cow they have special character that I also observed here. Yes. I drink uh, milk in India, I never got problem. But when I drink milk here, <laughs> I always get problem. I think a lot of people experience that one. Yeah, but cow is very auspicious and you know, we need to change this perspective. Uh, here, you know, we see dogs, cats, they are loving pets and they love them. But there is a discrimination against cows. They, you know, mock us. We are urine drinker, we are, you know, cow worshipper. But they don't understand the reason, you know, why it should be like that, you know. So if you look at this cow's calf, and they're also equally loving, you know, compared to our dogs and cats also. So we should also take care of them. And, you know, in Vedas, I'm not really a scholar of Vedas, but yeah, uh, uh, everywhere in Hindu dharma, it's all already mentioned about the importance of a cow. And uh, in each and every auspicious work, religious work, we want to uh, give to cow. In, uh, if you remember, in our house, uh, right now also in villages, in, in my house also, we used to keep one, uh, uh, you know, food, some food for cows. So that was, that's a great culture, I think, you know. Uh, we care for animals, we care for nature. So caring for cow is also caring of mother nature, caring of animals, uh, caring of everyone. As we say, sarve bhavantu sukhinaha. So literally, that sarva, uh, sarva thing, uh, you can see through this cow. So I think uh, what to say about the you know, uh, importance about cow, uh, you already talked about that one. So thank you everyone and uh, let's change this perspective and uh, let's uh, you know, educate the people about the importance about cow. Okay, thank you. Namaste. Rajesh Prabhu, please give a present. We have a small present for you. Yeah, people are changing. Yeah, people are changing. Yeah. We are getting modern. Yes, no, 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 मुझे समोर धर क्या लेंगे? मन मागे अशियो गर्गी Yeah, please, yeah.